um, huge, huge learning uh, experience for me. Um, you know, this whole season was just a huge learning uh, process, you know, just picking off of, you know, my freshman year and then having a bad season last year. Um, this year, I really had nothing to lose uh, with a new environment, new coaches, new team, new everything. Um, it felt like a fresh start, a new start for me, uh, which is something that I really needed um, to better me and my future. Um, and Houston was obviously the best way to go, so I'm here. You were leading the NCAA race with 200 to go, mm -hmm. um, and then you didn't quite bring it home. Did, what kind of adjustments did you make for this? Um, you know, just trust my process to run my own race. Um, you know, you had the great Michael Norman and, you know, um, you know, other athletes that were in that field as well. So coming out here, you know, running with the best of the best in the world, in the U.S., I would say, um, it just showed that I could fight and go with the best with anyone. Um, as long as I put my heart and my mind to it, there's nothing really that I can't do as far as, you know, just exposing my, you know, talents and achieving the best that I can do. Kamari, a lot of people uh, have come to this track collegiately, professionally, a lot of times, and have never won anything. Uh, I mean, what, is, uh, what does it mean, you know, the, for, for a first time around, you know, on the, um, on the global and, and that you're a champion? This is, I mean, like I said, it, it hasn't hit me yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it will a uh, couple seconds here now. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just, like I said, I just had trust in God, and I had a huge support system with my family and teammates and everything, and, you know, just past friends that I knew who just never gave up on me. You know, a lot of people, just because I had a bad sophomore year, they really doubted me, um, which is okay, you know what I'm saying? You, you, they can do whatever they want, but I came out here and I performed, and, you know, obviously, I don't see anyone, you know, saying that it was a bad race for me. So, like I said, it's all love. Um, I'm just happy to be here. Um, and I'm just glad that God gave me the strength to do what I gotta do. How does this compare to the pen relays experience? <laughs> uh, pen relays was something that I could never, ever forget. Um, you know, with the 43-3 split, um, that's what really boosted my confidence up, um, that I could go out in a big crowd like Penn um, and just perform. You know, it's, it's all about just having fun out here. You know, it's not, not bad, you know, not good, you know what I'm saying? Just just go out and have fun. But does that give you the reassurance that you, yes, know, it that, does. That you, it can, does. you can duplicate that even yes, though sir. relay split versus individual that you yes. know you have it in you? Of course I do. I have uh, I have some more in me. You know, I have a little bit more in me, so just waiting to expose it like I need to. Who is your event coach at Houston and uh, what kind of discussions did you have coming into this final? I mean, we just had a long, you know, talk this whole season. You know, it wasn't just one talk before um, this meet. Um, it wasn't just a few talks. We had a long talk this whole season from the time they told me to come to Houston to now. Does, does, does Leroy Burrell coach you? Yes, Leroy you Burrell. They, Leroy Burrell is my main coach. Um, he's the one who teaches me you know, everything that I know in the 400, but Carl helps me on my speed, uh, my technique, and my form. Um, but me, my 400, and everything that I learned in the 400 basically comes from him. And my old coach, Coach Kajay Lyles, which I can never forget. But uh, here at Houston, yeah, Coach Burrell is definitely my, my coach. So. Is it a weird feeling for you at all to, to get, you know, you finished seventh in NCAA, but now you're the national champion, is that right? Um, it's, it's, it was just, I really don't know how to explain it. It was more like, um, I'm glad I had that little downfall, I would say, um, just so I could learn from it um, and, you know, go out and do what I got to do today. Um, this whole, we, we as a team don't really prepare for little meets, um, big meets as well as far as nationals, regionals, conference, you know, pin relays, obviously. Um, and that's what really we trained for. So I'm just glad that I came out um, and performed to what I can do. What are the bracelets? Congratulations. Um, this is just a UH. Um, I think this is how many students went. Um, actually, our counselor gave this to us. Mind of a champion. Um, I mean, it speaks for its terms. Um, this one was a high school friend of mine who uh, passed away, um, you know, through asthma and everything. Um, Adam, I love you, Adam. But uh, these are his, uh, his colors for his wristbands, and I haven't took it off since I got it. So. How long ago was 